Hello and welcome to VCA California Veterinary Specialists in Carlsbad. I am Leah, the Radiation Oncology and Imaging Supervisor here. And today I'm going to take you on a little tour of the hospital focusing on the areas for patients for radiation oncology. So as we enter into the main door, we come into our medical oncology and chemotherapy area. So this is where all of our patients start their day and they get their exams by one of the oncology doctors, get their IV catheters placed, and get ready to continue on to treatment. As we go through the hospital, we're gonna pass quite a few things. First of them is one of our surgery rooms. We do have three surgery suites here at our hospital. And then we also have a full in-house laboratory and pharmacy area over here. The next stop in the hospital is our critical care and emergency area. This is the main hub of the hospital. We have uh, our fishbowl area where our doctors are able to work and look out on all the patients and kind of see the happenings of the hospital. Uh, this is the area where our more critical uh, patients are housed as well. We have our oxygen therapy kennels and an emergency cart, all of our drugs and medications that may be needed for these patients. So this is our large dog area, our dog run area, where our patients are often housed, especially those that are boarding with us or here overnight. So you'll see on the kennels here that each patient has a treatment sheet, which uh, shows every hour what the patient needs, whether it be medications or food or water, or when they're walked every four to six hours. Each patient actually has a member of our ER nursing care team assigned to their care, which checks on them every hour to making sure they're comfortable and getting all of the things that they need. And this down here is our CT scan. Our patients do require CT scanning for radiation planning most of the time. So this is the equipment and the room where that is done, where we can make specific molds for patients and everything we need to carry out their radiation therapy treatment. And now we come into the actual radiation area of the hospital. This is where we run the radiation equipment from. So right now we're actually running a QA plan on one of the patients for later today. So we can see there's multiple different views on the cameras, so we can keep an eye on the patient. So as we come into the radiation treatment area, you'll see the true beam radiation machine takes up most of the room in here. The patients lay on this table while they're having their procedure done. It is important that they stay absolutely still for the procedure because we can treat down to millimeter accuracy. So we do put all our patients under a light level of anesthesia while they're receiving treatment. So we also keep them on a ventilator to make sure their tissues are well oxygenated, uh, which is helpful for radiation to work well for them. Also, we have our anesthetic monitor and a dedicated technician taking care of anesthesia for each of our patients. And that machine allows us to visualize the ECGs, heart rates, breath rates that the patient's getting and oxygen saturation and blood pressure. And that monitor does show up outside as well. So during the moments that the treatment is happening and we're not able to come in the room, we still have a close eye on all of our patients. So we know that we have many patients come to us from out of the area and we want to make things as comfortable as possible for you and your pet. So a few things to note if your pet's going to be coming to us for radiation, we do want them to bring all of their prescription medications in their original prescription vials. That is the most important thing. Uh, as you may have seen, we have lots of beds and blankets for patients and comforters and things, so we don't need to have that come. The other thing is that we do keep a lot of canned and dry dog food here for patient use, but if your pet is on a special diet, you would want to send their food with them as well. Uh, we do everything you, we can to keep you informed on your patient's progress. We'll call you once a day with updates after treatment, and we can also try and send some videos or pictures of you because we know it's tough to be away from your friend.